Good morning. I have an article that I want to share with you guys. It just came out from Prophecy News Watch. And you might hear Tom and my grandson in the background. We we have a full house right now. My uh, son-in-law still has COVID. Thank you for keeping him in your prayers. But now my mother is sick. So um, she's staying in her room. And um, so, we, yeah, we, we got a full house. So, um, definitely that season, you know, that everybody gets sick. So, um, but... First, I want to read from Revelation 13, verse 16 and 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or their foreheads, that no man might by ourselves save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 600, three score six. The Great Reset. <laughs> we know what that really is, you know. Like, yeah, the Great Reset. That's... Just... Another word for New World Order. This day is coming like a freight train. <laughs> my, my grandson's out there watching them. Uh, but, uh, like, you know where they go? Sit, uh, mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? That's his favorite, and he watches it over and over again. <laughs> I'm like, let's put on your phonics now. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine hearing that all day? <laughs> Mommy finger, daddy finger, sister finger, where are you? Oh my gosh. So close my bedroom door a little bit so it gets them quiet. This day is approaching like a freight train. A lot more people are coming out saying, no pre trip rapture. It's not biblical. It is. You just gotta know where to look. Let's read Revelation 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's clear as day. <clears throat> Picture. A globe. Picture everybody in the world standing on that globe. There is an hour of te temptation coming to tr there's an hour of temptation coming to try everyone on that globe except for some. Which means everybody's gonna have to go through the hour of temptation except for some. That's the rapture. How do we return with the Lord if we're here? When's the marriage supper? But wherever you stand on the rapture, it's very important to put on the full armor of God in these dark days. People are getting more wicked, nasty, hateful, spiteful, just mean. You know, I just, why can't people just be nice, you know? It doesn't cost anything to be nice. That's free. Just be nice. Don't judge somebody. Unless you've walked in their shoes. You know what? I pray. I pray for everybody who's lost. I pray for everybody that's judgmental. I pray for the wicked that bring up somebody's past. You know, for a long time, I had a lot of anger in me because of the things that happened. I couldn't understand why God allowed those things to happen. But when I accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I am a different person. I have an internal peace. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have these moments of, you know, life just getting to us but it's how we handle it giving it to our heavenly father and he the holy spirit gets us through i used to be i used to have so much anger and so much just sadness in me i would wake up crying and go to bed crying but i don't have that anymore 
when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, not only are your sins washed clean, past, present, and future, but he changes you. <coughs> Excuse me. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. He guides you. He li He guides us. He lifts us up. He is our best friend, our King, and our Savior. And he will change you. He changed me. And I pray that the world can just... People can just be nicer. But you know what? We're living in the last days. God separating the sheep from the goat. And if you have anybody in your life that brings you down, brings up your past, pray for them, but step away from them. Because remember, Satan is sneaky. He will try and bring up your past. He will try and cause you sadness and worry. But you know what? He was defeated at the cross. When we have Jesus indwelling in us, we are new. We're new in Christ. I gotta find that article. I don't know where did it go. Okay. Um Prophecy News Watch. Dangerous Accord. Ba uh, basically, um the World Health Organization's pandemic treaty. Here we go. And remember, if days go by and I don't make a video, go to my backup channel, Sister in Christ 68. Because um, I had a hard time last time. I got a strike. I'm getting a message through to you guys. I'd email somebody and they wouldn't reply. Or they'd say, oh yeah, sure, I'll post it. And then they wouldn't. And I found a, a fun, really nice uh, channel. I'll have to, if I can find their channel, I'll leave it in the uh, description box. But um. Yeah, they finally helped that somebody found finally found somebody to help me and um you know god bless them because i was trying to get a message through to you guys so yeah if time goes by and i don't make a video check my backup channel this is a lengthy report but every that every um but every american needs to know what they are about to be put under read and then reread what is about to happen as our government prepares to sign this agreement june 1st americans have just days left to weigh in on the Biden administration's plan to adopt a dangerous international accord that gives the WHO greater control over the way the U.S. responds to global health pandemics like COVID. Thought they already did that. Yeah, the um, WHO, basically, what they say goes. If they say lockdown, lockdown. If they say you got to take this, you got to take this. You know where this is heading. We could go home anytime. Threatens national sovereignty. Equates the health of humans with animals and plants. Calls on nations to, quote-unquote, combat any, quote-unquote, misinformation that reduces, quote-unquote, trust in the government or its measures such as social distancing. So basically, how we feel about the ouchie. If we were to publicly, like we are now, speak out against it. Yeah. Would empower private sector forces such as social media companies to ramp up censorship of disfavored viewpoints. Worry citizens will have too much information about pandemics. Supports quotas and gender diversity. Aims to create equity driven national health care systems around the globe. And to make matters worse, the Biden administration lobbied WHO to rename the pandemic treaty so it can adopt the measures without the Senate's ratification, which a treaty requires. He's so sneaky. I can't look at Biden in the face. He creeps me out. He's just creepy. The United States joined the WHO in 1948. In March of 2021, WHO members called for a new international pandemic treaty and began writing the first draft of the legally binding treaty on December 7th of 2022. When the Biden administration signaled that it could not win Senate ratification as required by the Constitution, WHO transforms the treaty into the WHO Pandemic Agreement. Wow. He's a snake man. And I pray for anybody that is blind and supports him. This isn't a matter of Republican and Democrat. This is a matter of good versus evil, basically. And anybody that doesn't have the discernment to see it, I pray. I pray for them. 
into the WHO pandemic agreement and released the negotiating text of the document last October. All 194 WHO member nations will vote on the agreement at the 77th World Health Assembly from May 27th to June 1st, and we know how that vote's going to go. <laughs> In its own words, the WHO exists to dispel the temptations of isolationism and nationalism. The pandemic agreement naturally follows from its globalist mindset. Under the WHO pandemic agreement, nations would retain their sovereignty only in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and the general principles of international law, which is Article 3, ver Article 3, 2. <coughs> the current negotiating text of the agreement is an improvement over the February 2023 zero text, which states that nations have the sovereign right to determine and manage their approach to public health, provided the activities within their jurisdiction or control do not cause damage to their people and other countries. That would allow, <coughs> excuse me, that would allow WHO to take action against any nation's national policy, which it unilaterally determined was not in the best interests of its people, even if its citizens overwhelmingly supported the policy. Ironically, an Associated Press fact check quoted this sentence as proof the agreement posed no threat to national sovereignty. The WHO pandemic agreement places a number of restrictions and demands on U.S. sovereignty. WHO takes a double tith of U.S. ABJs, medicines and equipment. In the event of another pandemic, which, well, I can't comment on that because of um, censorship, but yeah. Um, the United States must give WHO a minimum of 20% of all pandemic-related products, such as ABJs or personal protective equipment, PPO, for global redistribution, 10% as a donation and 10% at affordability prices, Article 12.4. Real decisions are made by nameless, unaccountable bureaucrats <laughs> from around the globe. The agreement creates a conference of the parties headed by a secretary within one year of the treaty's ratification. It will meet annually or at any member's request. Only delegates representing parties will participate in any of the decision-making of the Conference of the Parties, Articles 21 and 24. <coughs> Excuse me. The agreement will create a global medical force at WHO's disposal. Member nations must create a fund, a, uh, and, and, and fund, I'm sorry, a skilled and trained multidisciplinary global public health emergency workforce. Ooh that is deployed to nations at their request to prevent the escalation of a small-scale spread to global portions, Article 7, verse, Article 7, 3. Wow. You have to be as blind as a billy goat not to see where this is going. This is prophecy, man. Because during the tribulation... I believe it's midpoint after the rapture. That world leader, which we know Satan, will make everybody take that mark. And they will deploy, right here, they'll deploy anybody that doesn't, and they will grab them. And, well, I, I got a censorship. You know where it goes from there. It gives the Hague just jurisdic jurisdiction over members' disputes. If WHO is not able to solve disagreements between members, nations may agree to the submission of the dispute to the International Court of Justice. They may also settle things through arbitration by the Conference of the Parties, Article 34.2. Wow. Basically, if you're pregnant, you never know what they're going to censor you for, but if you're pregnant, you have the right to basically not be pregnant. If you're pregnant... They're saying it's essential to not be pregnant anymore during pandemics. Although it is not mentioned in the pandemic agreement, it is vital to understand that the WHO considers terminating pregnancy an essential service. Wow. In March 2022, WHO released a new terminating the pregnancy care guideline stating <clears throat> excuse me, that both chemical and surgical terminating the pregnancy 
should continue, even during global health crises. Quote, in the wake of the pandemic, WHO has included comprehensive terminating pregnancy care in the list of essential health services, said the document. It comes as a little surprise WHO downgrades human life, considering it's One Health proposal. One Health basically lowers human life to the level of animal and plant. The most concerning aspect of this agreement, from a Christian perspective, is its... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> from a Christian perspective, is its One Health approach, which lowers the infinite dignity of human life to that of animals and plants. According to the agreement, One Health aims to sustainably balance the health of people, animals, and ecosystems, which include, quote, taking action on climate change, treaties that preserve human life, and policies that lead to human flourishing. <coughs> Excuse me. But which WHO decrees violate the ever-changing theories of climate change have no place under the pandemic agreement's One Health ideology. The agreement's States One Health decisions can be based on quote unquote social and behavioral sciences and will include quote unquote community engagement, Article 554C. While One Health is a new concept to most Americans, it has won support from one of the world's most prestigious medical journals. Wow. Quote Modern attitudes to human health take a purely <clears throat> anthropocentric view that the human being is a century of medical attention and concern. One health thinking entails a subtle but quite revolutionary shift of perspective. All life is equal and of concern, said a January 2023 editorial in The Lancet. <coughs> Quote, One health will be delivered in countries, not by concordance between multilateral organizations. <coughs> Oh, it's starting to bother me now. <clears throat> but by taking a fundamentally different approach, excuse me, to the national world, one in which we are concerned about the welfare of non-human animals and the environment, as we are about humans. In the trust sense, One Health is a call for ecological, not merely health equity. It's concern for equity and decolonization led to the scold those demanding that wet markets be closed to halt an emerging zoonosis. I don't, I don't know the word. <clears throat> One Health WHO solution to global pandemics would not halt event, evident pandemics. One Health's concept have been embraced by <laughs> Fossey. Another demon. Living in greater harmony with nature will require changes in human behavior as well as other radical changes that may take decades to achieve. Rebuilding the infrastructure of human existence from cities to homes to workplaces to water, sewer systems, recreational gatherings. This is about control. <clears throat> um, this is a extremely long article. I'm going to leave the link in the description box because um, I hear my grandson out there in the other room. This is about control. This is this. You know what this is? This is the beast system. They are going to control everything. They're going to control your health care. They're going to control how much gas you get in your car. They're going to control how much food you buy, what food you buy, and when you buy it. They're going to control everything. And as the, as history has shown, I'll leave it at that. A lot of people, they feel like they're shoved between a rock and a hard place. They stand in line. Take something, they don't have a clue what it is. I've heard, well, I have to because, well, I have to because, well, I have to because, no, no, you don't. <clears throat> my thank you, Jesus, that my daughter never took it. My son-in-law never took it. I never took it. My mom never took it. But my sister and her family did. Hang in there, family, because this right here is the beast system. Through and through. Wherever you stand on the rapture, but on the full armor of God, I believe there's a pre-trip rapture. Because God is a fair God. He is not going to save Noah, Lot, Elijah. Noah, Lot, their families. 
No one's family, lost family. Now, where the bride of Christ is going to save us? How do we return with Jesus if we're here? <clears throat> we don't meet the Lord in the air, grab a horse, and come back down. When's the marriage supper? You know, but wherever you stand in the rapture, pray. Pray for a lost world. Pray for people who have so much anger and hate in their hearts. Before they stand on their soapbox, they need to take a look in the mirror. Pray for Israel. All the homeless that are in this cold weather. I'm in, uh, <clears throat> I'm in Texas, and I remember that cold snap we had a few years ago. Oh, my gosh. Pray that doesn't happen again. Today, I'm, I'm from New York. Me and my ex-husband used to live in uh, Spokane for a while. So, we're used to cold, but those areas, they have, like, like snow plows and things. They, they have the means to prepare the cities. So I was delivering last night. They're already, remember that accident that happened on that toll road out here? Well, um, those, they didn't think about human life when they made those toll roads because sometimes it's one lane and there's no way exit for miles. So if there's an accident, pile up, you know. When it happened, I said, people were going, oh, they're going to have to fix it. They're going to have to fix it. I said, they ain't going to fix it. They don't care. They're not going to fix it. Well, they didn't. They shut them down. And they're already starting to shut them down. So we, anybody that's in the tech, anybody that's in Texas, and just um, cover your pipes, let your pipes drip, and um, we'll see what happens. I can't wait to meet you guys. You guys, you guys mean so much to me. I mean, I'm I'm blown away by how much love and support that you guys have given me, all the help you gave me during some financially difficult times. Somebody that always felt like um, the outcast, you know, the outsider. God's awesome. You know, through all those bad things that happened in my life, good came out of it. Jesus has washed me clean with his precious blood. And he's my best friend. He's my king. He's my bridegroom. He's all we need. I can't wait to meet him. And I have you guys. And I can't wait to give you guys a big hug. I love you guys, and you guys mean the world and beyond to me. And I pray for all of you and your families. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, watching Bubby all day and then delivering all night. Usually I deliver till maybe midnight. Um, sometimes it's hard. But um, I just want you guys to know that I pray for all of you every day and your families. Even your, even your pets. Your finances. And I can't wait to meet you all meeting at the brownie table. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. I wonder. Actually, and I, I know I've always said that, but I mean, I wonder if there will be brownies in heaven. I mean, if there's food, there could be. Can you imagine the food that's going to be at that marriage supper? And you know what? They're preparing it right now. As the world's looking to the war, World War Three, which I actually think is already here. Heaven is preparing for a marriage supper. I believe as the bombs begin to drop or start to drop right before they drop, we get raptured. Keep looking up. And if you're in Texas, bundle up. It's not only like 40 degrees today, but it's windy. God bless you. I'm sorry the video was so long. And I will talk to you guys soon.